Assalamu alaikum guys, it's Amal here and today I have a juicy story time for you just like you saw in the title so please sit back and relax, take your shah, coffee, kahwa, whatever you have girl or boy or whoever is watching this and watch because this, trust me, it's going to be really interesting and shocking and I don't know, everything so without further ado, let's get straight into the story so this day we were had like, this meeting in our job where people are gonna were gonna get like prices and stuff. So I went there and my group we were we worked in groups. So my group actually won this prize and this prize basically was this soda. It was actually in this bottle that looked like a champagne bottle, okay? It looked like a champagne bottle. But it wasn't a champagne bottle, okay? But it was like basically pure soda, trust me. Because my partner that I actually worked with is not even 18. And trust me, I live in Sweden and nobody would give out alcohol, okay, alcohol to a 17 year old. Especially when it's like your work, hunting, no, no. They don't do that shit, okay? Anyway. So I came home with this bottle and because it's not alcohol, of course, I put it in the kitchen. I gave some to my little brother, I, my, both my little brothers, and I was like, drink it, it's soda, it's good, right, it's good, yes. I drank it, I even drank two bottles, okay, not two bottles, two glasses, okay. I was like, this soda is good, it tastes like pear soda, you know, it was so good, I really liked it. Anyway, so nobody my brothers went out to play and nobody was home i was the only one home my mom was working and my other brothers weren't actually home so i went into my room and closed my room because i was closed my door and i was sitting there watching youtube videos and randomly my father and this other family member i don't want to actually get into how is our family member comes into my room and is basically like what is this this is alcohol how dare you bring alcohol into your house I don't know and let me tell you that my father wasn't that that aggressive I don't know but this other family member he was going all in accusing me and we're Somalis okay I don't know but Somalis when your mom or dad is beating your ass or Accusing you of doing something your edo or up to your uncle or aunt is gonna be on your side and protect you, right? That's what I'm used to. That's what I'm used to, you know But no, this nigga was telling my father yeah, she brought that thing into the house to shock you to make you angry I don't know and I was standing there like is this is this not for real? I thought they were laughing first because I was like, no, they're just kidding. They're gonna calm down when I tell them that no, it's not alcohol. Let me read it for you. But no, they didn't even let me talk. They were screaming and making this big scene. I don't know. And I was like, they're so serious about this. They're so serious. Also, they aren't even joking anymore. And I was, I started crying because I hate when people accuse me of doing things that I've not done. So I started crying. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, you know, I cry because I go to, you know, so I hate people seeing me cry. So I ran off. I just ran off, opened the door, and ran outside. Okay, I was running. This nigga, he took the bottle. Okay, after me, and this family member, not my father, he came with this bottle after me and he threw it. Like, what do I? And he threw it at me. And it, it was coming like this, okay, at me. And I was like, today I am gonna die. Why was I screaming at my father? I'm gonna die today. Okay, I'm gonna die today. I was so scared. And I was like, please, God, please don't let this bottle just hit my head. Because I forgot to mention, this bottle was huge. Okay, it was, it was huge. It weighed at least three kgs, okay, three kgs, and it was about to bust my head into two pieces, okay, that's how big it was, so I was scared, I was so scared, but unfortunately, alhamdulillah, it never hit me, and I just went straight on the floor, and I was like, alhamdulillah, and I didn't even wait one second, okay, I just ran off, you know, and I ran off to my grandma's house, of course, because she would probably back me up. You know how grandmas are. So, and I was telling my, my mom was at my grandma's house too. 
I thought she was at work, but she wasn't. So she was there with my little brother. And I told them about this while crying, okay? I was like crying, like I was like, Ugh. And they were like, calm down, just talk about it. I don't know. And I was like, what? This person, this family member is accusing me of drinking alcohol. And he's actually saying that I brought it to actually make my father or other parents angry. Okay, and I was like, is this person serious? Why would I, even if I drank alcohol, like, isn't it common sense that I would hide it? I would probably hide it, right? I would be like, look, look at me, I'm drinking alcohol, y'all. Especially when I'm Muslim, I'm so badly, and you know how some Malay Muslim parents be like, you know? No, and it, the most disrespectful thing was that I'm Muslim for myself, okay? I'm not Muslim because my parents want me to be Muslim. I'm not Muslim because my father wants me to be Muslim. They raised me into a Muslim, yes, but I chose to be a Muslim. I'm an 18 year old person, okay? I can easily be like, ah, oh, I don't want to be Muslim anymore. Okay, that's my choice. I want to be Muslim, alhamdulillah. So I don't understand why this person would accuse me of doing something like this. But anyway, so I was at my grandma's house, right? And they were laughing. They, they weren't even taking this serious. They were like, what is this? Like, what? Out of all people, why would they accuse you? But you, I, I'm not gonna brag around anything, but I'm not the typical teenager. I never go partying. I never, I'm just that typical Halimu that stays at home, that does nothing, you know? I'm the Halimu, okay? Anyway, so basically, I told them everything and they were like, no, stop it. You're probably exaggerating. I don't know. And I was like, no, I'm not exaggerating. Like, please, trust me. I'm not going back to that house. I'm staying at my grand house, okay? I'm like, I'm staying here, Hoyo. You go back. You talk to them, but I'm staying here. Till so they admit that it was an alcohol. But my mom was like, stop it. Like, be serious. You have your life in that house, okay? You better clean your room. You do the dishes. So let's go. Class, let's go to our house and I was like no I don't want to I was, I was still crying she was like stop it let's go and I was like okay but I'm gonna go if you're gonna be on my side because I know my mom she's you know a soft person I don't think she would ever be like oh you're doing wrong I don't think she's that type of person that would do something like that so I was like but please just be on my side and protect me because trust me I, I, I'm not confident when it comes to fighting and stuff so my mom was like okay I'm gonna be here on your side I'm gonna protect you so just let's go because my mom trusts me, she trusts me, and she probably, she knows that I wouldn't drink alcohol. And if I drank alcohol, I wouldn't probably bring it home and be like, yeah, let's drink, let's drink, yeah, let's party. No, no, I wouldn't be that way. So, long story short, we went home. And this other family member, okay, he was still saying that it was alcohol. And he was like, I put it on a, in, in a cup. I drank it. I smelled it. It smells like alcohol. This nigga, has he drunk alcohol in his life? I don't think so. And if he does, like, let, let's pray to Allah that he forgives him. But honestly, I don't know how he knew that it was alcohol. Okay, if it's not actually touched or drink or doesn't anything with alcohol. Anyway, he was like, it's alcohol. I am a educated nurse, whatever he is. I know what alcohol is and what alcohol isn't, okay? I know that she came to this house, brought this alcohol to make her father angry. This nigga is actually saying this. For real. I was like, no, it's not alcohol. Let's read. I read this thing and it says that it's soda. It's pure soda. And even if it was alcohol, it would probably be written some percentage or something. I don't know. My mom works as a nurse so she knows these things she works with people mental ill people and that drink alcohol and she know i don't know but she knows this stuff so basically she basically said to them and told them that it's not alcohol so my father at this point he was like okay it's not alcohol but she shouldn't have brought it because it looks like alcohol her family member he was like no it's alcohol it's nothing else it's 100 percent alcohol i know it is how dare you and i was i came at him i was like listen i give it to my little brother i give it to my other my, my only little brother is five years old okay why would i give my five-year-old brother alcohol i don't know but this person was like it's still alcohol it doesn't matter and my mom was like, okay, this person is so sure of it being alcohol. So she was like, let's go to the mosque and ask a sheikh about it. Because 
ain't nobody like people aren't even listening to each other here and if it's a sheikh or if it's a person that's educated and knows what is haram and what is not if allah has give that them that knowledge then they would be like yeah it's alcohol it's not it's haram but it's not so then the you know the case would be closed right and i was like no mom don't embarrass us let's not just take like a bottle of that you know no it's that's embarrassing you know and mom was like no let's go to the mosque and let's bring that bottle i went outside and i thought that the bottle was actually you know broken but it wasn't it wasn't broken so i brought it and i was like please well do we have to do this and she was like yes let's go to the mosque even i want to know i was like what if we don't know and it's actually alcohol so let's just make sure that it is or that it isn't and i was like whoa no this is so embarrassing like it's so embarrassing but she was like no let's go so we went to the mosque or i didn't go we actually told my uncle to take the bottle and talk to a sheikh in the mosque and he looked at it and i was like uh, no this is basically soda and uh, what it says is that it says in the back that it's soda and it doesn't say any alcohol percentage percentages or anything so he was like it's probably just soda but if you want to and there's actually other sheikhs that work in this mosque that are more knowledgeable than me so i can ask them to make even more sure that it's not alcohol and as we know in our religion if something's not proven to be haram it's not haram so it wouldn't be haram anyway even if i drank it or not because it's hasn't been proven haram or not then we took back the bottle and we brought it to my grandma's house and i'm like let it be here because this man is that is accusing me of drinking alcohol in my that was living in my house at this time he actually i, I don't know but he had some weird thing going on like i don't know what his intentions were because why would he just accused me of doing something and when I've, we have actually explained and stuff he's still thinking the same thing so it was like weird like i couldn't really bring into my mind how this person was thinking i don't know maybe he had some intentions other than what i know but anyway so we went back to our home and my mom went to this um, family member and she was like listen we went to a sheikh and we talked to him and he said that what he, he said that what it says in the bottle is not alcohol and according to him himself it's not alcohol and other sheikhs are even going to prove it or disprove it tomorrow so if you want to know then you know we're gonna get it proved or disproved so you know what this nigga says you know what this nigga says <laughs> i'm sorry but this nigga says i don't care what any sheikh says Okay, according to me, it's alcohol and it's always going to be alcohol. Okay? Okay. <laughs> why are you Muslim then? Why are you Muslim? Like, why are you... <laughs> and I would understand if this person was actually a religious person that actually knew knowledge that had gone to Medina, Mecca, whatever, gone to university, learn about Islam. No, he is as knowledgeable as me if he's... Now I'm not going to compare myself to another person, but he's not knowledgeable, okay? He's not that typical religious person, okay? He does a lot of weird stuff that is wrong according to our religion and our deen and is very careless. I don't know, whatever. So he accused me of doing this until today. He's actually accusing me of drinking alcohol. Can you believe that? Subhanallah. Anyway, so the thing is, that was the story my dad actually came back to me and he was like sorry for accusing you of doing things that you didn't and i got angry because i was i mistook it to be alcohol so it was like subhanallah but honestly it doesn't matter to me i know a lot and i know what i do he knows if i drink alcohol he knows the, the, the haram things i do and i don't he knows what I, everything i do it's allah basically and the most important thing for me is what Allah thinks of me. This person lives in another country and is probably gonna go around telling my others um, relatives about the fact that I'm drinking alcohol and it's very saddening. It actually broke my heart um, for a while but now I actually don't care. I don't care about what other people think about me. Like Alhamdulillah, I know what I do and it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter if he 
it ruins my reputation or whatever the reputation that I care about the most is the reputation that I have with Allah what Allah thinks of me um, that is what's most important to me because I live in this world to please the most high the almighty God and that's the person I'm gonna please Allah doesn't need our pleasing but what I mean is that you know it follow his rules and laws and you know what's actually best for me because trust me what Allah wants us for us is what's the best for us all this don't drink alcohol don't do drugs pray it's all for us it's not for Allah trust me trust me it's for us and wallahi it's sad it's sad that people actually think that I've done this but who cares actually let's think about it who cares people are people human beings are human beings I just wish that people wouldn't take a person like this seriously that rejects a person that actually is more knowledgeable than them, like a sheikh. How can I go to a sheikh? Like a person that has learned about the deen, uh, that is very knowledgeable, and be like, no, what you're saying is not true. Like, it's not alcohol. It was not. I drank two big glasses of this, um, this drink, and I didn't get any... You know, I didn't get any funny or, you know, things. I don't know what happens when you drink alcohol. Nothing of that happened to me. So that is enough proof that I was an alcohol. I gave it to my little brother from God's sake. Like, like, I don't understand how you could think that something like that is alcohol. I don't know. But anyway, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I'm pleasing Allah. And I've said it like 50 times, but that is why I'm living on this planet. And it doesn't matter what he thinks. Um, honestly, I have lost a lot of respect for this person because, you know, I don't know. Uh, first of all, they don't trust me. That's very hard reckoning for me because, I don't know. And when, I, when it has pro been proven to you, why would you keep on saying that I've done something that I'm not accusing me of doing something that is not, even, even if I did it, I didn't know it was haram. Allah is not even gonna punish me because of this. Like, who are you to think that you have the right to say that I am a bad person and I am this and I am that and I don't know and I drink alcohol? Like, hunty or hunty. <laughs> like, please, person, honestly, if I do something haram and I'm not aware of it being haram, you're. That what you're supposed to do is come to me, talk to me calmly in a very good way and say, you know, disciplined way and say, this is not good for you. This is haram because of this, 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 this is the proof, blah, blah, blah. Then I'm going to accept it. But you're coming at me and be like, oh, it's haram. Like, even, it was even haram. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just felt really bad. I felt really bad. And... I don't know. I don't care. It's all good. It's all great. You know, happy. So <laughs> it's it's fine. It's really fine. No. So yeah, that was the video for now, guys. And if you thought it was good or it was interesting or whatever, don't forget to thumbs up. Okay, give it a like, like a like you know and if you want to see more from me a lot of story times because my life is crazy okay crazy things happen in my life i don't know god just chose me to live this life and crazy things happen so if you want to see or hear about other story times very weird interesting funny story times then don't forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button if you want to see more from me and I didn't actually do a introduction. This is my first YouTube video. If you didn't know, if you're still here, if you have like already turned up the video, but this is my first video on YouTube, and I didn't do any introduction video because y'all, I'm Somali, just like a probably like Somali, but I'm Somali. I'm hijabi. I'm Muslim. You, I'm your typical Halimo. We already know each other. Okay, we already know each other, so there's no need for me to introduce myself but if you really want to know more about me um and then and if you want to see a introduction video comment below and let me know okay so thank you guys assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh